Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my hardcore WoW challenge. Today we're playing Danos the Warrior. We're starting the cycle anew. We go through every episode, every character, one per episode for eight episodes. That's one cycle. This is the sixth cycle through people, I believe. Yes, sixth cycle. So sixth time playing Danos and let's jump right in. If you're unfamiliar with the challenge, we are trying to get all of those eight characters to level 60 without dying. If a character dies, I have to restart that class. And the full rules are in the description below if you want to see more. Um, if you're familiar with Hardcore in general, uh, Hardcore WoW in general, uh, the, the rule set's slightly different. It's my own creation, it's my own thing. Um, so you might notice some differences, um, but that's I've, I've kind of created it for my own personal use. Uh, but yeah. Let's 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 get going here. Um, all right, so let's just check on me out. One of the one of the rules is I can send things between characters that are currently alive, um, and so I actually did get quite a lot of good stuff from other people in between episodes. Uh, this rune copper bless breastplate from my blacksmith is hugely uh, good for this character and looks pretty sweet. So that's great. A nice new belt, which is great, and a nice new cloak. So this guy's really getting outfitted. And the reason I'm sending like this to this character instead of the paladin or something like that is because the warrior needs all the help they can get. Paladin shouldn't really die. Warrior will die. So I'm trying to kind of buff them up as much as I possibly can to alleviate that from happening. Uh, I'm gonna leave that in there. We'll take our elixirs though. We don't need the crab cake because we actually got other well-fed foods. So. That look, that's looking good. Well, let's just go sell things before we head out. How are you? And then we'll uh, then we'll be good to go. Um, we still need the Gortes snouts for Westfall stew. Uh, still need that. And fine. Yeah, looking good there. All right. Let's get going. Okay, so what's the plan? Um, we do want to go back to Stormin at some point, but we'll probably... Hmm. Did I not do level 14 training? I guess, no, I did when I uh, yeah came back through Iron Forge. I did level 14 training. Continue to Stormwind quest. I'm actually going to go do that right now before I do any more questing. Um... Because I don't want it to be they do this level 16 and then it give less XP. So I'm going to go do this now, and at the same time, pick up a quest I know I'm going to need later. So, I'll see you guys in Stormwind. Hey Alright, so we're here doing this quest. This is just like the, uh, teaching us how to use Flight Path quest. So, we'll head back to the Flight Master with this in tow. Alright, we've got here now, handed this quest in, and, uh, it looks like this quest, this one, this version of the quest, we have to... Um, I don't know. We probably don't have to buy the Griffin Ride, but I think I will because I want my uh, hearth cooldown up in case we want to use it sometime in Westfall. So I'll see you guys back in Westfall. All right, we're back in Westfall, and we're just gonna go hand this quest in and then get back to questing. What is the plan? What are we? What are we gonna do? I guess just like just various quests, just kind of go around doing doing the thing. Uh, kind of like yesterday's episode, uh, on the Warlock, kind of just doing various quests, although I don't expect to make as much progress as I did on the Warrior, that's for sure, or on the Warlock. Um, but nice little bo bonus, a thousand XP right there for just going talking to some people, it's always good. Um, but let's, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's do this People's Militia quest, uh, simultaneously killing beasts that we need to kill. First off, let's pop our elixirs that we want and get our well-fed food going and sharpen our blade, all that stuff. Get ready for the coming session. Let's start with the stamina 2 food since we're going to run out of uh, stamina 2 food and the, the first few fights here. First 15, 30 minutes shouldn't be no problem here. I just said shouldn't be no problem. Shouldn't be a problem. English good. Got to sharpen my blade. I can use a new weapon soon. Level 10 weapon is getting a little bad. 
liver and a snout. Is that our first liver on this guy? Really? Ooh. Oh, wait, forgot to um get tactical mastery. Yeah, that's good. And now our, we will retain up to five rage when switching stances, which is great. But there isn't too much reason to switch stances right now. But there will be later, so it's it's good to have. All right, done Gortus knows. We still need Gortusks for lots of other reasons. All right, let's uh, pick these guys out. Stacking two guys at once as a warrior doesn't do much for us. Our rend is able to stack on two people at once, and that's about it. It's really not really worth doing. I don't know, it's just kind of fun though to do. Yeah, we'll kill we'll, let's finish off this quest this trapper smuggler quest by killing some guys here but also over here and then do the killing fields quest continue to kill B. yeah just kill everything we see that is worth killing for us which is practically everything right now a bandage this going like someone is here killing stuff all right so maybe we won't finish that quest here but that's okay Don't turn your back to these guys, apparently they backstab. Good to know. Okay, all right. Getting help from this guy, unfortunate, but can't can't help it. That's what it is. I don't actually want this person to run away because then they'll start. Okay, let's just run. Let's just get out of here. Hamstring. All right, maybe we can fight this guy. We have health potions still if things go wrong. sketchy but no issue really don't really want to progress on that quest right now honestly actually because it's just a little harder for us and uh, there's these green quests I'd rather progress we still need streaming vulture meat though so Let's work on that Yeah, these mobs are starting to start giving us no XP pretty soon, so we should get this quest done as soon as we can here.
Someone died here, unfortunately. I think a lot of people, yeah, just make the mistake of coming to Westfall uh, too early, right? Too low level. If you come to Westfall level 11 or 10, you're in you're in for a world of hurt. Because there's only a couple quests you can even do and most of the quests you can't. And the problem is even the quests you can do at that level, you're surrounded by really dangerous mobs the whole time. So you, you can't really do them unless you're like a warlock or something. But... It's definitely just a dangerous area of Westfall. There's like dust devils flying around and just harvest wa harvest uh, harvest watchers. Those guys are tough too. Just a tough area. You don't really want to be here unless you really know what you're doing. Or you're overleveled a little. But Unlock Modan is definitely been a good call to do on most of these characters. Liver, very good, very good. We're looking for oh, there's a chest there. I think we can definitely get that. Be a little sketchy of a fight, but I think we'll be fine. Point for hit. Oh, the truth doesn't look like it. Let's see it. Would it be in fury? I don't think it'd be in fury. Or is it in? No, that's that's paladin. I'm thinking of. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's not. approach this it's triple smuggler it's pretty sketchy honestly like is it even worth going for this chest like triple smuggler if things go wrong i can't run away from their damage fast enough you know because they'll just shoot me throw daggers in my back right so i don't even know if i can if i i mean i think i can do it but is it really even worth the risk probably not Ah, what the heck, let's just do it. It'll be fine, probably, or won't, one of the two. Combat, oh yeah, blood rage. We eat, well, so we still have rage for the fight, okay. Get that bleed, we'll probably kill that guy. Power is really helping out. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. 
We're done with smugglers. Oh, we're done with trappers and smugglers. Okay, let's go hand this in because it's gonna be still. Oh, gold bar. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah, let's just go hand this in. Doubt we'll do the next one of these actually, but might as well. Yeah, the plan today. I don't even know if we can get. If we're gonna get level 16, no problem. But I don't see us getting to 17. That seems like a really a long way away. Each level getting a little longer to take to get, so. Shouldn't be backing up away from boars. We'll get ya. Um. Yeah, what do, how do we want to... Yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Might be like halfway through 16 kind of episode. Okay, yeah. Uh, this quest, yeah. Oh, it's good to do this one. Yeah, I forgot to do this one. Oh, and I haven't done poor old Blanche. Oh, jeez. I thought I was already like... I thought I was a little farther along than I actually am. Okay. Should have been looking out for, uh, for bags of oats. Go do that now. And kill every boar we see for livers. Not every boar we see, but a lot of them. Yeah, these are young gore tests are less, less likely to drop levels probably be my guess. I should have actually quested maybe in this cave for tin reasons. Well, won't go in it. Well, if I see tin in it, I might go for it. Bag of oats. Bag of oats. Actually, yeah, this quest I couldn't even really do until probably like I wouldn't have wanted to do this quest earlier because there's a little 15 guy in there that might be a little tough to kill. So. into this fight, but that's fine. Sometimes you just lose focus, but can't be doing that. Alright. So let's reset our well-fed bonus. We're running low on inventory space as well. Probably should have should have sold when I was at Westfall. Or what sent Hill. Well, it'll be fine. All right, let's uh, let's kill a smuggler first. Use some dynamite. Good morning, shout off. Don't need to use raid for battle shout yet. 
Okay, I'll probably die from the bleed or they'll be close enough that it'll be okay. This guy is chunking us down. He attacks fast, so we're more likely to parry and stuff, which is good for our DPS. Yeah, we're fine. Not a problem. Great. Have a look around for oats. No oats here. Fantastic. I'm out of range. Gonna need to free some inventory space for the next couple quests here. Um Not sure what I'm gonna do. I can make some bandages. That's what I can do. Make twelve bandages. Ooh! Minor spirit enchantment. For Bracer, wow, we're not gonna actually use that. Yeah, so we can just sell that. Honestly, we're not gonna ever use that on ourselves, and I doubt it's ever gonna be worthwhile to uh, use it to level. So. What else can we get rid of? Some copper. Let's go get that. Let's go down and kill some Murlocs, get finish the eyes up while we're here. about this choice to go tactile mastery like right now we aren't swapping stances very much but i guess eventually you do want to be able to do it but maybe you don't i don't know maybe maybe i made a mistake because i know for like tanking because you want to be able to taunt and stuff but like if i'm never going to taunt do i really need it i don't know i'm tanking this crawler i just kind of autopilot uh you know i'm wondering actually do, do i actually need tactical mastery have i made a mistake anger management's good too though yeah, let's let's stick with our plan. We can always re, re respec in a few levels if we figure out we don't really actually need it. Okay. These guys are a little dangerous. Got to be careful. Oh dear. As I just charge in, where three mobs could have aggroed on me. Very silly. That's pretty dangerous poison there. Inventory is yeah. I'm out of range. Not can't do that I can't carry. It's too far away. It's on me. Are these green mobs critting me twice in a row? Seems a bit rude. And that's it for Murlocs. Thank goodness. I hate them. <laughs> they are real, real annoying. 
right, let's go have a look at uh, the Knoll camp up here. The mage might have come over here and started clearing these guys out. It looks like they, uh, they did. So we're not going to be going in whole hog on these guys. I'm just going to look, have a look around. I'm mainly looking for, uh, honestly, uh, sacks of oats. But, uh, we can definitely pick off the, uh, the guys on the edge here. Yeah, sack of oats right there. One right there. We only need two more. So there's one right there. Surely there's a... Oh, yeah, there's two right there. All right. Good to do that then. Yeah, I think I could take on three of these guys, honestly. I think it's possible, but I don't want to risk that. So some of them shoot bows, right? So that's another good reason not to. I don't need to. Don't need to do that. Come on. Um, Finish this quest off. It's too far away. Coyote, no. Yeah, so these guys coming straight, you can say, so yeah, these guys coming straight from L Enforcement. Group of three, you can do that, no problem, of course. But, like, I think it illustrates, if you just go, if you go from L Enforcement straight to here, with an enemy SXP, you start here at level 11, which, as a solo character, is super sketchy. Right, we need to make some more space even for to, to finish these quests off, which is... You need something? Um... Good one. Okay, let's go sell things and then continue on. But yeah, it really illustrates like coming here at level 11 as a solo is pretty dangerous, especially a solo warrior would be just. I'm really glad I came here. I think I started here at 14, which yeah, it's a bit extreme, but rather be safe than sorry, right? And if you know, it's good, it's just good flow too. Because if you do every quest, even if you are a little under level, you, you, you just like. Every single quest doing it, every single one, will not get you to where you need to be to continue to progress in the zone, right? Same thing we saw in Lockwoodan, like, those quests we did on the Paladin, we weren't really ready for them. Even though we arrested at XP and, like, did every quest, we, the, the quest started to get a little too high level. So it's kind of designed, almost. Well, I don't know if it's designed, but it's really beneficial for you to bounce between zones. Let's sell a whole bunch of stuff. Um, chunk of boar meat don't need. They don't need the bread. Don't need the four slot bag. You need the oil. Jeez, hard to make room. Really hard to make good room if boar ribs can do that. Yeah. Um, I really want to get, yeah, let's start doing these guys, get okra, get, oh, if we can get this okra done, that'll be really helpful actually, because, uh, we can get rid of four slots out of inventory then. So, let's get that done. And then we'll try and get this Gore Tesla over Pride on quest as soon as we can, but it's that kind of quest. Hard to do. 
low drop rate. So these guys are mean to bleed, so that's why I'm not using rend. They do not bleed. Not much for us to do. I mean, just hit them. Time these guys' armor. Maybe it's worth doing. Not though. There's chests in or around this barn. Don't see any though. Now let's head up here. We'll just finish off this Harvest Watcher quest. Yeah. I'm out of range. Right, we also, yeah, we need to kill Gore Tusks still all the time. We always kill Gore Tusks forever. Ah, so many, so many harvest watchers to kill. It's ridiculous. It's such a high number. <laughs> Twenty. Oh. I'm about to level up. That'll help a little bit. Should maybe head back to train. Sixteen. Sounds like a good number. Yeah, probably should. Probably should. In fact. Almost certainly should. We should, no, we should, we should, we should go train. Blaze part of my brain's like, nah, no, it's not worth it, but it is worth it. But I'd feel really silly if I died and then figure out uh, level 16 skills were really helpful or whatever. So let's let's immediately just go train. Just go immediately train. That's the, definitely the best way to do it. Okay, uh, I am wondering, this is gonna be five points that I, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna maybe hold off until we see, I'm gonna go have a look at the training skills and, and, and really actually evaluate if we actually need this. Um, so I'm wondering, yeah, it's just like going into defense or, or, or block. Sounds better. Sounds better to me, but I don't know. I don't know. 
I'm not sure. Be honest with you. Hello. See you around. I haven't done that no. one yet. Farewell. I haven't done that one. Very good. Okay. All right. Out. Let's go to the flight master, and we'll kill any gore tests we see on the way. Of course. Oh, that are that are on our way, not that we see on the way. Okay, okay, yeah. Ah, yeah, maybe I should have waited to go back. Darwind. The coincide was 16. Oh well. Small little inefficiency there, but. Great Gore Tusk. Yeah, he's gotta have a liver. Great. No way he doesn't have a liver. Kill more of these guys when we get back. They'll have the livers for us for sure. All right. I'll see you guys at the warrior trainer. See you guys in a second. Hello. All right, we're here at the warrior trainers. Now let's have a look. Uh, oof, things are expensive. Of course they are. Forgot. Okay, mocking blow is completely not necessary. So that's nice. Rogue strength. Rank three, increasing the damage by twelve. It's good for twenty silver. Yeah, probably shield block. Okay, so this is a good reason to stand stance. All right, I'm in. Yeah, shield block, really nice. Great defensive cooldown. Yeah, really, really worth taking that probably. And is that it? That's that's all we got. Nothing in fury. Okay, yeah, just just two, just two abilities. That's not that bad, but but worthwhile abilities. Definitely worth coming in to train those and I'm just gonna use my hearth yeah no I won't I'll see you guys back at Westfall all right let's go kill some more boars sharpen our blade eat well-fed food you know good stuff And these great gore tusks are better for XP, more likely to have uh, livers, <laughs> all good things. Ah, uh, well, I don't know why I did that. Silly. Honestly, I'm just gonna wait till it's over. It must be battle stance. Duh. Well, that was big waste. Big waste of time. <laughs> So yeah, like now we can go battle stance and and really go in on the shield wall, which is awesome. Does shield wall go away? Hold on. Shield wall. Yeah, you, so you need to stay in battle stance the whole time. Okay, good to know. All right. So yeah, now we're gonna be stance dancing a lot more, which is which is which is good. Make use of our talent. Gotta be a little, a little bit careful around here, but it should be just fine. I might go, I might go heavy prot, get improved revenge, so good, yeah, I don't know, might be worth doing, Evers, really good, really good, copper here, oh. 
I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of thinking now maybe, uh, Maybe, maybe going heavy prod after, because if we, if we want to go heavy prod, we're going to want to stand stance a lot, so we're going to need tactical mastery anyway, no matter what. Um, but after tactical mastery, I'm thinking, I'm thinking heavy prod. I like the gameplay of, of prod too, so I'm in. Do it. I don't know if it's the right thing. I don't know if it's the optimal thing, but I'm, I'm that's what, that's my plan. That's what I'm going to do. I've decided. You can't stop me. Liver? What are you good for? Four? I'm going a little farther out of the way than I really wanted to, but that's okay. Hoping, hoping those boars would have, like, like to drop their livers. Uh, can we push to level 17? Can we do it? Could we do it? Maybe. Possible. I think we cut out maybe 10 minutes of footage now. It'd be, I think it'd be pushing it pretty far to hit level 17, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll keep going for the next little bit here and uh, see how it goes. Start heading back towards Saldine's farm. More boars, but there, there ain't. Unfortunately, regular gore tusk, sure. Take a regular one. It's too far away. Lever. It's happening. Getting the livers. Yeah, and I guess uh, this shield talent gets a lot better for rage generation once you have shield block. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty sweet. I really want to finish these Gorotos livers. Like, I really want to. <laughs> like, so bad. Just kept running south to find more great gore tusks. Young gore tusks just have to low drop rate for these things. What I could do. Yeah. Let's do that. I have an idea. It's a bit crazy. But I think I can do it. I think I believe in myself. We're gonna we're gonna go over and kill pillagers. It's crazy. It's crazy. It, I, it, this might be the death of me. But that's what we're gonna do. It's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna try it. If we die, we die. It's too far away. 
Execute 20. What? He did the charge thing I was right next to him. I didn't know they did that. That doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem fair. Quite honestly. Doesn't seem very on. Here killing watchers, interesting. Well, 18 human warrior. Yeah, that's probably what I should be to come over here. I'm probably I'm probably doing something real dumb here. To be completely honest. Let's try it. Maybe someone's already cleared it out? <laughs> no. <laughs> it really matters how many pillagers there are and how stacked they are next to each other, right? That is the, that is what kind of makes things hard. If there's like three spilt pillagers that I have to aggro at once, then I can't do it. If it's one, if I focus them down, problem is to focus them down, I gotta charge in. I can't kite them away, they'll deal too much damage to me. It's a, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty big problem. But let's, let's see how this goes. Ooh, you guys disarm. That's bad, that's really bad. Makes these guys even more dangerous. So yeah, I need to get into this house. Or actually, can you actually get it in from the back? Maybe. All right, this is gonna be sketchy. Potions at, at the ready. Elixirs on still. Okay. Uh, ooh, okay, let's shoot this guy. Double pillager back there. Pretty, pretty sketch. There's a patrolman. This guy's patrolling around. I think there might be another person patrolling. They both patrol? Have a look. I think they both patrol. So I got. Ay, 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 ay. These guys might be. This might be really, really dangerous for me. But let's try it. We have bombs, we have shield bashes. We have health, we have elixirs on, we have well fed food on, we got we get, we have everything we need to, to, to not die. Let's try it. Oh, this is no problem at all. <laughs> uh, I mean not no problem at all, but going going quite well to start here. Alright. Yeah, that's not an issue. Forgot to, forgot to put on battle shot too. Uh oh, uh oh. I'll bleed. Did they bleed before they aggro that guy? They did. Nice. All right. Well, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad at all. We are level sixteen. These guys are level fourteen. Yeah. So granted, we can do this. Nice. So I, because I don't want to fight a group of three. Group of two, no matter what they are, I can fight. Grab a group of three. I probably can do it. I don't want to, though. I, I, unless I absolutely must. 
honestly, I'm not even gonna, not even gonna continue here. I'm gonna kill Gore Tusks and head north from here. I might go in the cave. I might go in the cave because it's actually, this is a rare case where being in a cave actually is kind of safer in some ways than going, being out in the open. Cause like if I start running away from these mobs in a cave, the line of sight stops their casting, right? And so even if I aggro a ton of mobs as I'm running out, um, the casting gets interrupted by the line of sight. So, and if, if there's tin in here, I'm going to go for it. If there's no tin in here, I will not. There is. There's two tin veins. Okay, we got to do it. When there's someone here, that's great for us. And it's a warlock. Wow. Hope they don't need tin. Because I'm taking it. Hey, I mean, that, I mean, it's not accepting help. This is how it is. RNG. Someone happened to be here. Very good for us. Very good for us. All right, let's get in here. And there's gnolls in here for no paw stuff. This pet died. Okay, so I think the best thing is to actually charge this man. I don't know. I think there's someone to, right to, to, to the right. So I think it's actually best to pull this guy out by line of sight. Is helping me, but would have been fine without him. It's my shield bash there. Silly. I'm out of range. Chest. Bonus chest. Silver bar, noise, 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 noise. Don't need okras anymore. Leave that food in there. Very good. Problem is, revenge does no damage. <laughs> In, uh, in Wrath, I think Revenge does crazy damage, I think, if I remember correctly. I don't know. Really good in Wrath, I think. Or maybe it's, uh, CPC becomes good. Does tons of damage. Inventory is full. In or Yes, I need that. I'm out of range. God, I got the silver bar. means I can make that thick war axe on my paladin. It's awesome. Oh, I didn't even look at the time. Uh, how are we doing on time? <sighs> yeah, we probably should finish up the episode soon. I don't think we're gonna make it to the next level. Maybe we will. We will just do a little bit more progression. Here, have a good time. Guy does not look like he knows who he's doing. Wasn't aware of that guy like aggroing onto him until he attacked him. I worry for this man. Sneak in and get this tin. It's quite valuable for us. I will help this guy out. Ooh, I do want that. Get after. Oh. 
Ooh, a miss on the shield bash. That's not ideal. 103 crit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, we're gonna get aggro. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, well, you can have that moss agate, I guess. I thought he wanted me to take him out. Oh, well. This is kind of uh, uh, skirting the line of accepting help here. How's the aggro on me? Not for me. Is that tin? It's copper. Oh my god. Always oh, inventory full. Yada yada yada. Alright, let's get out of here. Came in for the tin. But this guy's kind of like pseudo helping me out here, and I don't really want that. I'm not really into that. Not for the challenge, right? So let's just get out of here. Really wanted to come in for the tin. And we didn't. He, I don't think he. If anything, he benefited from us only. We didn't really benefit from him being in here. Oh, people respawned outside, though. So we're going to have to fight our way out. Let's eat some well fed food before we do so. Yeah, our elixirs are running low, so uh, definitely time to go. Management. All right. Um, I think we just hearth here. We didn't get through all the rest of XP, but I, I think we're near the end of the episode, and oops, and uh, I don't think we're anywhere close really to a good spot to uh, to finish up here, other than right now. So. Yeah, like, we're not close to doing any of these quests, unfortunately. I think, I think, I think now is just the time to just, just hearth and, and call that episode, and we're halfway through. We didn't even get through the rest of the XP, unfortunately, but that's okay. I think we really need a weapon upgrade. I think I'm going to look out for that. Maybe, maybe do some blacksmithing and see if we can get a weapon upgrade that way. Um, well, actually, that thick war axe is better, but I have to go train axes then, but I can do that. I have the money to do that now, so that thick war axe, maybe, you should, maybe I should give that to the to this warrior because uh, I'm pretty sure it's quite bad quite a lot better. Oh man, what? Oh Well, we're in Lock Modan <laughs> Whoops, really I didn't set my hurt to us all right well, yeah. <laughs> we're, uh, we're in Lock Modan. Uh, I'll make my way back. Maybe I'll train axes in Ironforge. There we go. Uh, it's all planned. Anyway, that's it for Dallas this week um, A little, you know, slow week, but Got a lot of pro progress done and uh, got a level and level and a half or so. But that's all. That's all we're gonna do today. Uh, if you like the video, if you like the challenge, please leave a like on the video. It helps out a lot. And comment if you have any feedback about the challenge. Would love to hear any feedback on this episode or just the challenge in general. And then of course, if you want to keep up to date with the challenge, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and also keeps you up to date with the challenge and uh, uh, lets you know when new episodes release. I'm releasing videos every single day right now. And if that's a little too fast for you, uh, I do release weekly or eight, every eight episodes, so pretty much weekly. Um, recap episodes uh which which go over the last eight episodes which are really nice if you want to keep up to date with the challenge but don't watch an hour of wild classic every single day so that's it for me this week or on danos i'll catch you guys tomorrow for our paladin episode with padme and i'll catch you guys then bye bye